You're listening to In the Moment on South Dakota Public Broadcasting. I'm Chris Lawfrey. Lori Walsh is off today. An artistic partnership between the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra and Augustana's School of Music is an opportunity for those involved to grow and be better educated. Delta David Geyer is the music director for the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra. He's with us today to get a better idea of what this partnership is capable of. Maestro, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Peter Filiard is the Dean of Augustana's School of Music and the conductor of Hits Orchestra. He's joining us from inside the Kirby Family Studio here in downtown Sioux Falls. Thank you for being here as well. Thanks, Chris. And Maestro, it's good to hear your voice. Where are you right now? (laughs) (laughs) South Carolina. Uh I thought you were out of the area. It's good to hear your voice. I'm glad we get to talk about this on the air here. Nice. Let's let's begin with you, Maestro Geyer. Take, Take us back and tell us about your thoughts on when you first caught wind of this partnership. Well, I mean, it makes all the sense in the world, right? I mean, th- th- we're about to s- celebrate our centennial season at South Dakota Symphony, and 100 years ago it started as uh, the, the orchestra started as the Augustana Town and Gown Symphony, so meaning town and gown, meaning that uh, we're students at Augustana and also community members that played side by side in the orchestra. So it's the the, the two institutions have been integral from from the beginning. So it's uh, once Augustana officially made us uh, upgrade to a school of music, it made it made a lot of sense for us to uh, enter into a, a, a better and different kind of partnership. Peter, follow your, your thoughts on the same question. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so what excites me so much about this is I think it's a story about growth. So you have the Augustana uh Department of Music that has this town and gown orchestra, and the gown meaning the, the academic robe. You know, when, when we graduate, we wear those those fancy robes. So that's what they meant by that. And then come uh, Maestro, it, I think it's 1962 from my research, is when the symphony grew to have more professional aspirations separate from the university's mission to educate. And not that these two things are mutually exclusive, but in order for the symphony to grow to the outstanding organization that it is, it needed to lean forward in that way. So out goes the symphony to go grow on its own. Augustana continues to mature and and do what it does well in educating collegiate students. And now we're a school of music. Now we're at 100 years. And then we have the conversation about, well, now that we have one entity that's broken into two, matured well, How can these two enrich one another? And so uh, there's no better partner for us to have than the South Dakota Symphony in looking for a partnership like this. Mr. Geyer, what does this partnership uh, do for the musicians currently of the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra? Well, I mean, I I think all of us who are involved in in classical music, we, we have a sense of mission about what we do and that we, um, it's a tr- it's a kind of traditional music that we have that we play that we desire to pass it on to the next generation. And there's a and our entire you know system of teaching of classical music, whether you're a violinist, a pianist, or a clarinetist, is one of mentorship of you know younger musicians. I mean, you don't just you know pick up a violin and uh, and and teach yourself how to play and expect to end up in a symphony orchestra you need to be you need to be mentored by someone who uh, who has devoted their life to this in order to play this music so and this is the way it's been for hundreds of years so we 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 receive this mentorship ourselves as as musicians and then we feel a, a sense of responsibility but also a desire to pass it on so so what does it do for the musicians of our orchestra? Well, it gives us the opportunity to uh, to fulfill that part of our mission. Peter, I asked the same question of you, only I'm going to flip it to the to the students of Augustana University. What does it do for them? Yeah, it's it's a huge opportunity for them to be surrounded by professional musicians. And, you know, this this partnership is modeled after what I would say is best practice in the industry. If you look at Juilliard, they have a partnership with the New York Philharmonic. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the Curtis Institute, they have a partnership with the Philadelphia Orchestra. And we're in Sioux Falls, and gosh darn it, the South Dakota Symphony and the Augustana (laughs) School of Music are going to realize the same partnership. So I look at my own experience at the Eastman School of Music and the Rochester Philharmonic, and what did that integration look like? And just the idea of having, in that case, it was the Rochester Philharmonic rehearsing in the Eastman Kodak Theater, It's the same thing that we'll have the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra performing in Hamry Recital Hall. 
Um, what does that mean for students? They might uh, bump elbows with Delta David Geyer in the hallway. Mm -hmm. They're going to stand a little taller. You know what? They might hear uh, Dusa Kim uh, practicing before the rehearsal for their orchestra starts in one of our practice rooms. And the idea when you walk into an elite school of music is one that there's sound all the time. And th I think that uh, this will increase traffic uh, on our campus and make us a more uh, artistic hub in the community specifically for music. Um, but our students are going to be surrounded by that next level, or I mean, more levels than just the next level, by having these professional musicians around them all the time. So what a great opportunity for them to say, oh, I'm, I'm dealing with this difficult passage, and you have a hallway conversation with this top-notch artist. So uh, we're, we're doing a best practice in the industry, and that's going to be amazing for our students, because I've lived that, and so has Maestro here. Um, it's a win-win. If you're just joining us, you're listening to In the Moment. I'm Chris Lawfrey. Lori Walsh is off today. Delta David Geyer is the music director for the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra. Peter, Peter Folliard is the dean of Augustana School of Music and conductor of its orchestra. They're with us today to talk about this artistic partnership. And uh, you heard Maestro Geyer earlier, uh, Peter, talk about uh, how this was a natural fit. And in preparation for this, I was sitting at my desk going, it's a natural fit. And sure enough, Mr. Geyer, Geyer took the words right out of my mouth. Talk about your position and how it was a natural fit for you as well, because I'm guessing you're going to answer it the same way. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I remember when I got here in 2017, and I emailed Maestro Geyer, and we sat down and we had a conversation. And there is this rich past between these two organizations. And naturally, as they grew and they developed this independence, it made sense for them to develop their own identities. And then as I grew into this leadership role of the dean, I, I, we're looking for strategic ways for us to be able to grow, to be stronger, to be better together. And that, that's what partnership is all about. And so uh, one of the things that I love about my position is having a friendship with people like David Geyer and Jennifer Teisinger, the executive director. And so uh, Maestro, I'm sure you remember uh, you know, us getting together, uh, a couple phone conversations, a couple Zoom conversations in the pandemic, and then... Uh, some face-to-face -face meetings where we got to sit down and talk about how could we realize this. And oh my gosh, was that a fun conversation between the three of us at Maestro Geyer's house talking about how can we make this partnership something that's vibrant for both of our organizations, more importantly for Sioux Falls and for South Dakota. Oh, okay, hold the phone. M Mr. Geyer, take us back to, the, to those, those times. What were those phone calls and Zoom calls like for you? Well... I'm just, I'm thrilled to see Augustana taking this step. Um, I mean, because, you know, every every liberal arts school has some sort of department of music, and, and Augustana has, and you know, there's been a relationship for a, a long time. But when you upgrade to a school of music, then you're, this is another thing. It's not, it's not simply making music available for your student body, but it's being more more uh intentional about recruiting students specifically to um to study music and to to go on a career path in this direction so um i mean i'm pete pete is uh, he's like the perfect guy to do this um you know it's the augustan has made a great choice in peter Folier and pete's got the background to to uh envision this and to make it happen and uh and he's got the savvy to know how to how to go about it. So when those conversations started to happen, I think the the confidence that that I had, that Jennifer Tysinger had, and, and Pete, um, to be able to bring this this thing to fruition was uh, it was palpable. You know, it's exciting. You use the word intentional. I love that word. I will use that word in a couple of sentences today in your honor, Maestro Geyer. I have a, a, a twofold question here, and I'll start. Uh, I'll, I'll stay with Mr. Geyer. Has there been any reaction from the musicians um, from the South Dakota Symphony as far as this partnership is concerned? If so, uh, what have you witnessed? Well, I, I just know that our musicians are very supportive of it. I mean, it's happened mostly after our season has ended, so I haven't seen. Mm. I haven't seen you know our musicians since our last concert on May one. Mm. Um, so we're not, we're not interacting, having that, having conversations, but I know, I know that they're all very happy and excited about, about this. Uh, like I say, it's, it's, um, 
it's not just a gig for us. It's not just a job for us. There's a real sense of mission mm -hmm. behind what we do as as classical musicians. So, um, so this is this makes all the sense in the world. I have no doubts in my mind that they're they're professionals. They're uh, they're they're ready for this. Now let's flip to you, Peter. And uh, you've seen the students, and you've talked to the students about this partnership. Tell me what you're seeing. Yeah. What, what, what's the reaction on well, campus? I think it's important we talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of the relationship and what, what does this mean in practice as opposed to just an idea. Um, be, the idea is so powerful, but uh, that's what Maestro Geyer and Jennifer Teisinger and I sat down to really scrub out. And also uh, Susie omera Hernes. I don't know if she's listening, but a huge shout out to her in working mm -hmm. out the uh, logistical uh, kind of contract work that we needed to do to make sure that this was something that lasts beyond the personalities that we have in place right now. But so what this means for our students is that if you declare a major in music, you are going to study uh, in the instrumental side. You're going to study with an active professional in your community. Mm -hmm. The opportunities that are embedded with that long term as we grow the talent pool that we have at Augustana is the opportunity to grow the substitute musician pool at the South Dakota Symphony. Now, Maestro Geyer, I'm not saying you need to employ these musicians, but they can go through the audition process, but they're going to be coached by the person who's sitting in that principal chair. That's amazing. And just to know that that opportunity is there, it, it puts the carrot in front of the stick and makes the horse run. And I, I mean that, you know, the student is the horse here, mm -hmm. and this is a great golden opportunity for them to chase after. But because they can see it now, because it's really – We've set up those two things right next to each other, and it's up to them to fill the gap. The opportunity and, and ability and reason to be motivated is right there for grabbing them. So that's exciting. And I can share on the faculty side, I am hearing from some of the musicians saying, uh, Dr. Farid, it would be wonderful if uh, we could, we're thinking about this chamber music concert, could we host this at Augustana University? And this whole partnership opens up the opportunity to say, absolutely, we want to host these musicians on our campus, again, so that Augustana also becomes this uh, artistic and musical hub uh, beyond outside of downtown Sioux Falls. So we're really excited about this. Students are excited. And um, Maestro, I, I, I hope... Uh, this is just the beginning from what we see here. I can't wait to talk in a year as we evaluate this. Yeah, that'll be important. Moving forward in the couple of minutes we have left, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm excited about this. Just sitting here in the, with, the, with the two of you talking about this, I'm, I'm ready to go with this, and I'm not even involved. But uh, here we go. What's, um, what's the end goal, Maestro Geyer, if you will, of this partnership? I'll start with you. Um. I see it as a as a broadening and a deepening of the musical community of Sioux Falls. I mean, uh, I've said many times before, I stand on the shoulders of of visionaries who, uh, you know, I mean, not just that started the South Dakota Symphony, but those like Pete said, like there was a a real uh, push to professionalize the orchestra in the '60s and the '70s, and and uh, the concert hall and all of that. So. It's um, you know we're we're trying to to you know draw people to the to the region uh, professional musicians to uh, to to have a real active uh, artistic and musical community in Sioux Falls uh, and uh, we want to contribute to that so this is uh, raising up the next generation is a big part of that. Peter Follier, do you get the, the last word in the last minute we have? Talk about this partnership, and you're jazzed about it, and uh, what, what is the end goal for you? The future for this is, is for me, lifting up, you know, I, I have to start with Augustana and the School of Music and the students and the opportunity, but even more so it's, South, it's Sioux Falls, and even more so it's South Dakota, and even more so it's the Midwest. Uh, Maestro Guy and I are not originally from here, um, and there there are things that we know would be helpful, enriching for a community like Sioux Falls that is so growth-minded, that is so artistically invested and supportive. But there need to be these key places, uh, th these key partnerships in place in order to make it to the next level and to the next level and to the next level. So as Sioux Falls and as South Dakota and as the Midwest continues to grow, this is, I think, a monumental piece in making us uh, again, a hub, a centerpiece, a, a central location for people to say, oh, this is a very vibrant arts community. So, uh, mm. like I said, beyond excited, very grateful to Maestro Geyer uh, for his partnership here and, and uh, friendship. Delta David Geyer is the music director for the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra. We really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Peter Affaliard, Dean of Augustana School of Music and conductor of its orchestra. Thanks for your time as well. Thank you so much, Chris.